Okay, here is PROG Progenity. This finishes at $4.84 today, and that is up 39.48%. Please like the video, please subscribe, and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. So here is LCID Lucid Group. This finishes at $55.52 today, and that is up 23.71%. Wow, what an incredible run. All the way from the bottom at 16 bucks, now at 55, over a 3x, and it appears like it's not done just yet. Yeah, EVs are hot right now. Apes are going crazy over EVs. Lucid is one of the better EV stocks. But there was a reason why this stock went up so much today. We have news and earnings. We actually have an article from CNBC, so let's read that first. EV startup Lucid's market value blows past Ford at more than $89 billion as shares skyrocket. Key points. Lucid CEO Peter Rawlinson said there's a long runway for the EV startup stock and market cap to surpass traditional automakers and be valued more like industry leader Tesla. Lucid's market value blew past Ford on Tuesday to $89.9 billion following a 24% run-up in the EV startup stock price. Rawlinson, a former Tesla executive, regularly compares Lucid to his former employer in terms of in-house technologies and overall development of electric vehicles. So let's get to the news and the earnings. So EPS was negative 43 cents. So I'm not sure what the estimate was. And there is no revenue because they do not have deliveries yet. Or very few at least. Yeah, it says Lucid doesn't expect to report revenue from EVs until Q4. We have a price upgrade from Citigroup. They upgrade to $57. And the news is Lucid currently has 13,000 reservations, which equals $1.3 billion in revenue. They are set to produce 20,000 units in 2022. Not sure if the earnings were good or bad, but their predictions are very bullish. So it seems like the hedge funds are now starting to believe in this company as well. A $90 billion valuation is actually not that crazy, all things considered, because they do have, like the CEO said, in-house technology getting their factory up and running, and they're going to start pumping out these cars pretty soon. You know, all these EV companies, their valuations are pretty insane, but I think Tesla and Lucid, you can justify the values. Rivian's another story, but we'll get to that very shortly. Great PR, the apes like it, the institutions like it, and the stock moons today, up 23.71%. So let's go ahead and analyze here. So first of all, this gap at $50 filled today. Amazing. Definitely did not think it would fill this fast, especially because two months ago, the stock was at 16, so insane run here. And right now, this appears to be a cup and handle in the making. Looks like the top of the cup could be 65, the all-time high, or 63, around there. And it appears like the bottom of the cup is at 16. So that would currently be a bullish indicator that is telling us this stock can run back up to 65 to complete this cup here. And in the aftermarket, this is still running. It's over 56 right now, so that is a bullish indicator for tomorrow. Usually when things run in the aftermarket, that means tomorrow the stock is going to run as well. So looking good for tomorrow. So right now this is trading between the sideways channel, the rectangle of 56.25 and 54.75. So if this goes to the upside, next levels of resistance would be 56.25, 58.05, 60.20, 62.15, and then the all-time high 64.86. And if this goes to the downside, next levels of support would be 5475, 50, 50, 50, 50, 2680, 2530, 
There is some support below that, but we're not going to discuss that right now. So right now with this current price, 55.52, the channels to the upside and the downside are decently sized. So expect a good amount of price action either way this goes. The RSI is currently at 80, so that is overbought and overvalued, so be careful guys. And this did 242 million in volume today, very significant volume, so this pump today was confirmed by the volume. So this one is getting a bit dangerous here. As I said, we have bearish indicators in the RSI and the volume. However, I do think there is still more room to run to the upside. Like I said earlier, this is a cup and handle in the making. So this does have the potential to keep running to at least 63, I would say. And just my opinion, not financial advice. I do think once this does hit 63 or 65 and completes the cup, I expect this to pull back to form the handle. So if this is in fact a cup and handle, this should run to 65, complete the cup, and then I'm predicting it'll pull back to 40 to form the handle. So yeah, I think short term, this does have more upside potential, but this can only keep running for so much longer, guys. So I will say, be careful at this point. It's not a bad thing to take profits. And again, this can't keep running forever. So be very careful, guys. So therefore, if you want to go long, not financial advice. Personally, I wouldn't do that. I don't think 55.50 is the greatest entry. But again, there is still upside potential to 65, I would say. So there may be still around a 20% upside here. Too risky for my liking. But if you guys want to go for it, then I can support it. As long as you understand this is getting very, very risky. So if you're okay with losing some money here, then sure, I support going long. If this does pull back to 40, then I think that would be an excellent entry. And I would support going long at $40 and lower. So I don't like the entry of 55.50, but I do like the entry of $40. Now, if you want to go short, not financial advice, I wouldn't do it just yet. This probably still is going to run a little more to the upside. So if this hits 65, the all-time high, then I would say that would be a good entry for going short. So I would hold off for right now. If it hits 65, then I would support going short. And then I would cover at 40 because that's where the handle should complete there. So congratulations to everyone who made money in the stock today and the past couple of weeks. Consider taking profits if you're up, not financial advice, but you guys shouldn't get too greedy. And good luck to everyone currently in this stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is LCID Lucid Group. Okay, here is PROG Progenity. This finishes at $4.84 today, and that is up 39.48%. So here's a meme stock that we've been covering on and off for the past two months. We covered this one yesterday and I said it's very difficult to tell where it's going to go in the short term. And today we have some major price action so we have a much better idea of how this stock is going to trade now. So there was no justification for this price action today. No news. So I'm going to assume just a bunch of ape stuff happening. Apes piling in, squeezing the shorts out. And it appears like the squeeze is not over just yet. So let's go ahead and analyze here. So we have this gap up today at 350, and that is a bearish indicator that is telling us this stock should pull back to 350 eventually to fill this gap. And this is also running in the aftermarket here above $5, so that is a bullish indicator for tomorrow. Again, usually when the stock runs in the aftermarket, that's a good sign that the next day the stock will continue to run. So right now this is trading between the sideways channel, the rectangle of $5 and 475 so if this goes to the upside, next levels of resistance would be $5, 520, 535, 550, 575, 595, 610, 630, 645, 685, 730, and then the high of 780. And there is resistance above 780, but we're not going to discuss that right now. And if this goes to the downside, next levels of support would be... 475, 455, 425, $4, 380, 360, 340, 320, 290, 260, 235, 220, 195, 175, 145, 120, 110, $1, 85 cents, 75 cents, and then the low of 66 cents. So right now at this current price, 484, the channels to the upside and the downside are pretty decently sized, so expect a good amount of price action either way this goes. However, if slash when this breaks 643 to the upside, the channel starts to open up and get real wide. 
So expect a significant increase in price action if slash when this breaks 645 to the upside. The RSI is currently at 71. So that is officially overbought and overvalued. So be careful guys. And this did 342 million in volume today. Very significant volume. One of the biggest volume days ever for this stock. So this pump slash squeeze today was confirmed by the volume. Okay guys. So this is just my opinion. Not financial advice. It does appear like the squeeze is not done just yet. There still appears to be upside potential. How far it's going to run, I have no idea. But eventually, I do expect this stock to pull back to 350 to fill this gap here. Honestly, we're getting a lot of bearish indicators. High RSI, high volume, and the gap up. Really, the only bullish thing this stock has going for it is the strong social media sentiment and the aftermarket action. A lot of bearish indicators, not too many bullish indicators, and no neutral indicators. So the chart does appear to be bearish in the short term at least. That being said, I do think this will continue to run for a little longer. So therefore, if you want to go long, not financial advice. Personally, I would not do that. This is too risky for my liking at this point. But I can support it as long as you understand at this point, if you want to go long, it is a straight up gamble. Very risky stuff, high risk, high reward. So if you guys understand what you're getting yourself into, if you guys understand your gambling, then sure, go for it. I support it. But again, very risky. High risk, high reward play. Now, if you want to go short, not financial advice, I would not do that just yet because this does appear like it's going to keep running in the short term. I don't know how much further it's going to run to, but I don't think 484 is a great entry to go short. I would hold off for a couple more days, see when this stock starts to pull back because it has to pull back eventually. And when it starts to pull back, then I would come in and make a move on the short side. But if you were to go short right here at 484, you're probably going to end up getting burned and holding some bags. So don't go short just yet. Be a little patient. You should be able to get a much better entry. And then eventually, please cover at 350 once this fills the gap. This is not one you want to hold on the short side for that long. So congratulations to everyone who made money on this stock today. Consider taking profits if you're up. Not financial advice, but don't get too greedy, guys. Eventually, it's going to have to pull back. You don't want to be the one holding the bag. And good luck to everyone currently in this stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is P-R-O-G, Progenity. Okay, here is R-I-V-N, Rivian Automotive. This finishes at $172 today, and that is up 15.16%. Okay, so here's another EV stock. All the EVs are going nuts right now. And this one just IPO'd five days ago, and it's been pumping ever since. So there's really no justification to this price action other than the apes loving the EV plays right now. And quite honestly, the valuation of this stock is pretty absurd in my opinion. And a lot of people share this opinion. I would say most people share this opinion. I'm not exactly sure what the exact valuation is right now, but I believe it's worth more than Ford and GM combined, which you could justify if they actually had deliveries and revenue, but they don't. So... I think most people would agree that this stock price and the company valuation is a bit absurd. But right now, the markets are pretty irrational, so apes keep buying. But at some point, this is going to have to pull back, and I personally think this is not going to end well. Just my opinion, not financial advice. So we can't really analyze anything here. We only have five days of data, so I'm not sure how far this is going to keep running. Definitely has more upside potential, but personally, I think... Eventually, when this pulls back, because it has to at some point, it's going to pull back pretty hard, and it's probably going to be pretty ugly. A lot of apes are going to lose a lot of money here. So I, I would just say, be careful, guys. Don't get too greedy. Look to take profits pretty soon. Again, just my opinion, not financial advice. To me, if you're going to go with an EV play, you'd be better off going with Lucid or Tesla. This company has not proven anything yet, and this valuation is definitely absurd. So if you want to go long... Not financial advice. I personally would not do that. I don't think that's a good idea. This definitely does have more upside potential. But if you were to go long at this point at 172, that is a straight up gamble. So if you guys understand that you're gambling and you're okay with that, then I can support going long. But personally, too risky for me, I would not do that. Now, if you want to go short, not financial advice, I would not do that just yet. I don't know how far this is going to run to the upside, but eventually it's going to have to pull back. 
So if you want to go short, I would just hold off for now, observe the price action, wait till this starts to top out and reverse. And once it starts to catch some resistance and reverse, then I would come in and make your move. Don't know when that's going to be, but if you're a little patient, you should be able to get a better entry on the short side. So I support going short, just not yet. Hold off a little bit and you should be able to get a better entry. So congratulations to everyone who made money in the stock today and the past few days. Consider taking profits if you're up, not financial advice. But in all honesty, this is pretty absurd. So don't get too greedy, guys. And good luck to everyone currently in this stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is RIVN, Rivian Automotive. Thanks everyone for watching today. I appreciate you guys. Please, like the video. Please subscribe and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. You apes already know, diamond hands to the moon. I'm Ty. This is Smarter Gambling. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.